Applications with quadratic functions. So first, some necessary information before we can go on to the actual problems. In general, when we're solving problems that ask for the minimum or maximum value of a quadratic model, we will need to use the vertex formula. And the vertex formula tells us that the x-coordinate of the vertex of the quadratic function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c is given by x sub v is equal to negative b over 2a where we get the a and the b from the, per, the coefficients of the function. The y-coordinate of the vertex is found by evaluating the function at the x-coordinate and so the y-coordinate of the vertex y sub v is equal to f of x sub v. So we have to be careful when we're reading through the problem. Does it is it asking us for an x coordinate or a y coordinate or possibly both? So let's consider this problem. Suppose the height of a water rocket in feet can be modeled by the function h of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 78t plus 4, where t is the time in seconds since the rocket has been launched. Determine the maximum height the rocket will reach. So here we are asked for a maximum height. And since we're dealing with a quadratic function, we're going to need to find the vertex. So first, let's determine what we're really trying to find. The t-coordinate of the vertex would be equal to the time when the maximum height will, is reached. You might ask yourself, how do you know it's a maximum and not a minimum? Notice the lead coefficient is negative 16, the a coefficient. So now since a is less than 0, the parabola opens down. And this implies that the vertex is a maximum. So t sub v is the time when the maximum height is reached, and h sub v will be the actual maximum height. So now let's actually figure it out. The time coordinate of the vertex, well this is like finding the x coordinate of the vertex. Instead of an f of x, we have h of t, so t is the input variable. So the time coordinate of the vertex will be given by negative b over 2a. So we have negative, the b is 78 over 2, and the a is negative 16. So this is negative 78 over negative 32, and with two negatives, that's going to give us a positive, and we go through a calculation here, so I'm using my calculator at this point. 78 over 32 is 2.4375, and that's in seconds. So this tells me that the maximum height is reached after 2.4375 seconds. But wait a second, that's not what we were asked for. We were asked to determine the maximum height. So now, let's find the h-coordinate of the vertex. The h-coordinate of the vertex would be found by evaluating h of 2.4375. So let's take the function and evaluate it at 2.4375. So it would be negative 16 by 2.4375 squared plus 78 by 2.4375 
plus 4. All right, I used my calculator to evaluate that, and I found it to be 99.0625, and height is in feet, so that would be in feet. So my conclusion would be that the maximum height reached by the rocket was 99.0625 feet. Here's another problem where we will use a quadratic model to determine a maximum. A garden is being placed along a wall and will be enclosed with 30 feet of fencing. Assuming that the garden will be rectangular in shape, what is the maximum area that can be enclosed? All right, now in this problem, we are not given the formula. We're not given the function that we can use. So we have to figure out the function on our own. I'm going to start with a drawing. Let me start with a rectangle. Now I don't know either of the sides, but let's just say that we have length L and width W. Well really we have length on either side and width on either side. Now I know that we want, to max, we want to maximize area. Well, area of a rectangle is simply length times width. Well, but the problem is we don't know either of those two pieces. So there's, there's two variables, and we, really only need, we only really know how to deal with one variable. So we've got to come up with an expression for one of these variables in terms of the other. Well, I know that since this is a rectangle and I have 30 feet of fencing, that 2L plus 2W is equal to 30. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to solve for L in terms of W. I'm going to use that to replace the L in my area formula, and that will give me a function in terms of W. So subtracting 2W, I have 2L is equal to 2W plus 30, and dividing by 2, I have L is equal to negative W plus 15. So let me use that negative W plus 15 to replace the L in the area function. So then A would be equal to negative W plus 15 by W. So A would be equal to applying the distributive property negative w squared plus 15w. Notice that this is quadratic. The a coefficient is negative, so the parabola is opening down, and we can find the maximum for it. So, we have our formula. The w coordinate of the vertex would be given by negative b over 2a, which is negative 15 over 2 times negative 1, which would be positive 7.5. So what that's saying is the width would need to be 7.5 feet. And if the width is 7.5 feet, the area will be maximized. Well, the area, coordinate of the, of the vertex, would be negative 7.5 square plus 15 by 7.5, which is 56.25. And again, I used my calculator for that. Now that's an area, and so that area would be in square feet. So my conclusion is the maximum area that can be enclosed is 56.25 
square feet.